Welcome back to another edition in the Survival Trapping series. And in this episode, we're going to talk about the two-stick deadfall and why I like that. And it's a really great trap trigger system just because of its ease of use, and I can literally make one in less than a minute. All I need for the two-stick deadfall is a, a straight stick, and I'm going to make a cut about hang 10 length. It's a pretty universal size for a lot of things in survival. And I'll cut. Now that I've got my two sticks, I've got to find my base piece. Once I find my base piece, all I've got to do is sharpen a kind of blunted point on the end. Something important to note is the very tip, and you want to make sure that that's rounded. And it's best to take a little bit of extra time on this section because the more rounded it is, the more sensitive it will be. There's a couple of different ways that you can actually attach the bait to this trigger system. One is down at the end of the top stick. You can make a point and then split it so that you can jam your bait in there securely so that the animal has to work hard in order to get it out. Once you kind of sharpen the end, then you're just going to take and split the wood real good and then you'll jam the bait into the end of that so that the animal has to work hard to get it. The other place that you can place your bait would be on the portion of the rock that's going to sit up against the rock and all I do is take a, a deep cut and the trigger sticks gonna rest on this side so I'll make a deep cut right here above where the trigger is gonna rest and I'll actually just place my bait inside of the fold Another reason that I like this trap is that it can be done simply with absolutely no modern tools. So say you find yourself out in a survival situation and you want to rig up some primitive trigger systems for squirrels or other kinds of small game. Well, you can literally break two sticks apart and then sharpen the end on a rock or you know something hard in your local area and you can make these points in no time or these trap triggers. One of the things that you can do in order to sensitize the trap trigger is to take the top piece that rests against the rock and right where the trigger is going to set it, you can round that and make it slicker. The places that you want to use these types of trap triggers are places that have an abundance of rocks or deadfalls in the area and then also an abundance of bait and the type of small game that you want to go after. One of the main places I think of in the back of my mind in my travels where I would use this trap the most <clears throat> excuse me, is uh, when I was out in the Rockies, um, you know, spending time doing bushcrafting out there, there are these areas up in the Alpines where, you know, there's large rock boulders and, and uh, there's tons and tons, hundreds of chipmunks that live in these things. So if you find yourself in an area like that where there's an abundance of game and an abundance of rocks and you don't have a whole lot of tools or time, this is a great setup for you. The more difficult it is to set, the more sensitive it's going to be. <clears throat> so the downside of this trap trigger is that it has a lot less sensitivity than your Paiutes or other trap triggers we've shown you, but the improvement is that the, the speed of carving is so much faster and requires less tools. But your bait is down here at the tip, the animal is going to jostle the trap, the rock's going to fall on them. All right, so that was our two-stick deadfall. Very simple, easy to construct trap. One that I wanted to show you on the front side of these videos because we're gonna start with more primitive skills and then build into more elaborate uh, snares, modern uh, traps, things along those lines. But, you know, guys, if you've got an interest in learning these skills hands-on with instructors around you, come check out our classes. Uh, you can watch these YouTube videos all day long and go practice them in the bush, but what's gonna take you months to learn on your own, we can teach you in a day. So. Um, as always, we appreciate you guys. I mean, you make Sigma 3, and uh, you've, you've grown this organization to what it is thanks to your support, and, and we are constantly thankful of that. So stay tuned. Uh, we're going to have an entire series of these videos coming up, and we've got a really good one to show you up in this next part.